Did you know that when you look into the night sky, it's a lot like looking back in time? Hi, I'm Science Bob, and on behalf of the Northrop Grumman Foundation, welcome to STEM Flicks. We're all about having fun while we explore our amazing world of science. Now, check this out. So tonight, I am in the Crosby Observatory at the Orlando Science Center in Florida. And every night, these doors open up, and light from stars and galaxies comes streaming into this lens. Light from all over the universe. You see, usually we think of light as traveling so fast that you don't notice its actual travel time. It doesn't seem to take any time at all for light to fill a room when you flip that light switch. But distances are so vast in space that it does take time for that light to reach us. The light from stars that we see at night has been traveling for years, or even billions of years. So, think of a telescope like a time machine. And Orlando isn't the only place you'll find one of these. There's probably a telescope at a university or observatory or even a neighbor's backyard near you. So when you see that supernova through the telescope, it might be a star that's actually been dead for billions of years. But the light's been traveling so far that it looks like it's happening right in front of our eyes. That's awesome. All right, so this telescope is pretty cool. But right now, they're working on the James Webb Space Telescope. And that will be the most powerful telescope ever built. So they've got a bunch more telescopes downstairs. You want to check them out? Sure. Let's go. So check all these out. And as you can see, telescopes sure do come in a lot of different shapes and sizes, don't they? But all the really advanced telescopes, they're actually not on the ground. They're out in space. Any idea why? The atmosphere? That's right, the atmosphere. You see, when light comes from space, the clouds in the atmosphere, they can block a lot of that light. And that means the telescope can't see it. But the Webb telescope's actually out in space, so none of the light is blocked, including the very important infrared light. Uh, you guys want to see a quick experiment? Yeah. Uh, all right, all right. Joey, you stay right there, and Delaney, you come on over here. Joey, do you have that remote control I gave you? Yeah. All right. Shine that at Delaney. And you see those little light bulbs at the front? Do you see them blinking at all? Push some of the no. buttons. It's not blinking. All right, now let me get my little smartphone camera here. All right, now, Joey. Shine them through the lens of the smartphone. I see them blinking. Yeah, they're blinking. You see, the smartphone can see the light that we can't see, sort of like the Webb telescope can see other light that we can't see. And because that Webb telescope can see in this infrared light, we can actually look deeper and deeper into space than we ever had before. Uh, you may have heard of the Hubble telescope. Well, this will be 100 times more powerful than that. In fact, we might even be able to see baby pictures of the very first stars that formed in what we call the Big Bang billions and billions of years ago. <laughs> Talk about time travel. Just like what I saw on the telescope. Exactly! And in fact, if all goes well, scientists have figured out that we might see back as far as 13 billion years. Is that older than the dinosaurs? Oh yeah, it's way older. In fact, imagine this. So scientists have figured out how fast light travels. Then they figured out how fast it travels in a year's time and how long. And it turns out it goes about 6 trillion miles in a year. Yeah, that's a six with 12 zeros after it. So from one of your birthdays to the next birthday, it will have traveled six trillion miles in the vacuum of space. Um, here, I'll tell you what, let me show you an experiment you can do at home. For this, all you need is a flashlight and a backyard. Uh, and this is a good time that you might want to pretend you're a star. Uh, no, no, not that kind of star. All right, so you get your flashlight, turn it on and shine it into space. And in a year's time, that light will have traveled from your flashlight six trillion miles. Now you know what they mean by the term astronomical. It's ginormous. Our understanding of the universe is just gonna get better and better. And if you wanna improve your understanding of the universe, you're gonna to wanna to visit the NASA website. They've got lots of pictures, videos, and great information. And don't forget to be a time traveler yourself. Visit an observatory or just lie in the grass in your backyard and look up at the night sky. Well, for Semflix, I'm Science Bob. You guys want to go check out some more stars? All right. No, no, not the glasses. Come on. Stemflix, brought to you by the Northrop Grumman Foundation. Inspiring our nation's future scientists, technologists, engineers, mathematicians, and their teachers.